In Transistor, we have a dynamic audio insertion tool that will automatically insert audio clips into your existing episodes. Here in this episode, I can see I have this campaign running and I have a few ad locations set. So pre-roll is at the beginning. I've defined a mid-roll point at this timestamp and then post-roll is at the end. And the idea is that uh, if you have a bumper at the beginning of an episode you want to play, like this. This is Transistor.fm. Uh, you can automatically apply that to all episodes. And in my case, I'm running a mid-roll ad that appears in the middle. And then at the end of the episode, I have these post-roll ads that play. Our RSS feed provide us with... The way you create these campaigns is over here in the Campaign tab. Let me go into this default campaign that I've already created. Uh, as you can see, it has a creation date, how many impressions uh, this campaign has done, so how many times these ads have been listened to. And here's where I define each of those clips. So my mid-roll ad sounds something like this. Hey, do you want to start your own podcast? Head over to... Tr and so this is a great way to put advertisements, announcements, um, whatever you'd like, and have it apply to your entire back catalog of episodes. Now, we also have a dynamic show notes feature that will do the same thing, but for show notes. So in this case, I've dynamically inserted this text and link into uh, the episode show notes for every single episode. So if I look at the show notes for this episode, scroll to the bottom, there's that text that's been automatically inserted. So you've seen what it looks like to have a default campaign that automatically applies to all episodes. You can see I've, I'm running it on everything. You can also remove a campaign from an episode. So you can see this one here, there's no campaign running. And uh, using this selector here, I can choose which campaign I want to run on this specific episode. So let's create a new campaign, and then I'll show you how to apply that campaign to specific episodes. So before we get started, let me just go to the Ad Inventory tab. Again, you'll see all of the impressions each of these ads has done, and it'll allow you to add new ads, new audio clips that you would want inserted in your episodes. So I'm going to create a new one. And in this case, what I want to do is create a specific campaign for programmers. There's a lot of programmers starting podcasts on Transistor, and I want them to have a campaign specifically for them. So I'm going to call this one Programmers Midroll. And I've pre recorded an MP3 file here. I'm going to just upload that. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add one called Programmers post roll for the end. And upload that one there. All right. Okay, I'm going to create a new campaign called Programmers. Create your own podcast. And now I'm going to select pre-roll, mid-roll, and post-roll audio. So for the pre-roll, I'm going to stick with that static bumper. This is Transistor.fm. I find a short five second or less uh, bit of audio at the beginning works best. For mid-roll, I'm going to choose this programmer's mid-roll ad. We can preview that here. Just in here, if you're a software developer, and we're going to have that post-roll ad. I'm also going to have it automatically insert some text in the show notes. Um, just going to modify it to make it more personal. I want to start a programming podcast on Transistor. And now I'm going to save and publish this campaign. All right. So now we can see it's live, but it hasn't been assigned to any episodes. If we wanted to, we could make this the default campaign and have it apply to all of my episodes. But in this case, I just want to go to those episodes that might appeal specifically to this audience of programmers. And this interview I did with Taylor is a good example of that. In the episode, I'm going to go to this campaign chooser and I'm going to select this campaign for programmers. And when I save those changes, it's going to reprocess the audio. And now it's going to automatically insert that pre-roll, mid-roll, and post-roll 
And in this case, it automatically is going to swap out the old mid-roll ad and put in the new one at this timestamp here. Once the audio has been reprocessed, I can listen to that mid-roll. Hey, Justin here, right in the middle of the episode. And I'm going to apply this campaign to a few different episodes. Here's another interview with Taylor. So I'm going to select this campaign here. And I think you can see how versatile this is. It allows you to create these audience specific um, shout outs and calls to action in your audio, as well as in your show notes. And you can just apply these to whatever episodes you'd like. If you're a podcast that is running sponsorships or monetizing through ads, this also allows you to have multiple campaigns running at the same time where you say, okay, this campaign is going to run on these episodes, but then this block of episodes is going to have uh, a different campaign running on it. Gives you all sorts of flexibility for how you might want to run these. And as soon as these things are running, you can go to the analytics tab and we're going to start collecting uh, stats on performance. So you'll be able to see how many impressions each campaign has done and then even how many impressions each ad has done. So how many times has that particular clip been listened to on your podcast? And of course, you also have the option of removing these. Uh, so you could just remove the default campaign. So let's say that you have an upcoming event and you no longer want to promote it. You just select none, do not set default campaign. It'll automatically remove that campaign from all of these default campaign slots. There's no need to manually insert clips in your audio and then re-upload them to Transistor. We can do this automatically for you. Just stitch those audio clips at the beginning, middle, or end of every episode. We think we've created the simplest and most affordable dynamic audio insertion tool on the market. If you wanna try out Transistor free for 14 days, just head over to transistor.fm, click on that free trial button, and we'd be happy to help you get set up.